Hello and welcome to the What Northern Ireland Means to Me podcast, presented by me, Julia Paul. This series has been produced by Shared Future News to mark the centenary of Northern Ireland and is funded by the Heritage Fund on behalf of the Northern Ireland office. Shared Future News provides information and personal stories on the topics of peacebuilding, reconciliation and diversity to a Northern Ireland audience and beyond. In this episode, we meet Norman Hamilton, a Presbyterian minister and a former moderator of the Presbyterian Church, to hear what Northern Ireland means to him. First and foremost, it is home. It's home because most, though not all, my family and friends are around. So it's a place that I love because of them, but also because it's just a wonderful place to be. I mean, you're never more than an hour from the sea. You have the hills, the mountains. So from an environmental point of view, it's just wonderful. Clearly, we have had a very distressing 30, 40, 50 years. I've had both the, the privilege and at times the horror of being in the middle of that in North Belfast, in the Ardoin area where we were for 26 years before we moved here to Ballymena. But even in those awful times, I didn't want to move out. I still wanted to live on the interface, on the Crumlin Road, because again, I knew all the people around me from both sides of the community. We have in practice reached the stage where a large part of the population who would call themselves Protestant are effectively cultural and increasingly secular Protestants. And the same with the Catholic community, culturally and secularist Catholic, so that the number of people of real faith, of practicing faith, is certainly declining. Though, to be honest, that doesn't of itself bother me because I would far rather have people with real faith practicing their faith than half the population just siding on the dotted line but not making any difference to the way they live day by day. The increasing number of folks from elsewhere in the world is beginning to express itself culturally. For example, Diwali is quite big in the Belfast area. My sense is that as people of committed faith from elsewhere come and live in Northern Ireland, that that will change the the dynamics of community life. Even though I'm unionist, I'm a member of the SDLP Commission on a New Ireland because my Christian identity is far more significant to me than political or cultural identity. I would love to see a commitment to good government emerging amongst the electorate and then being reflected in the way politics is done. It doesn't seem to me that there is any real hope of a good future for us, either north or south, if our politics is so contaminated by bitterness and aggression and polarisation and power-seeking. So from my perspective, that is my my heart's desire, is what I pray for quite often, that a new generation of elected representatives, both at local and at central level, would emerge who really do want, collectively, to do good government for the benefit of everybody. What Northern Ireland Means to Me is produced by Shared Future News. Our staff include Alan Leonard, Alan Mabon and Julia Paul. Our theme song is Figure in the Fog by Jordan McMurray, with thanks to Music Paths. This and other episodes with transcripts are available at the Shared Future News website, sharedfuture.news. You can also follow us on Facebook at Shared Future News and Twitter at Shared Future. If you would like to suggest someone for a future episode of What Northern Ireland Means to Me, please email us at editor at sharedfuture.news. Thanks for listening.